And welcome everyone here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Yasuo mid-range. That's right, we're going to be trying out Yasuo some more, um, but this time it's going to be a little bit different. I'm not going to play the list that I've been normally playing here. I'm going to instead use the mobile addicts list and uh, give it a try. Where may, uh, Basically the main difference is it has three Legion General in it. Um, I've talked about how I, I don't really like this card or don't use it because I want to have a lower curve than the five drop. Um, but it does, it is just basically replacing the intimidating roars. Um, you know, so it's not really adding too much to the curve. Um, cause that's basically, basically the difference is that card and then culling strikes. I haven't really been playing culling strikes, but I could see the, you know, culling strikes pretty decent, especially, you know, kills Ezreal, kills a lot of champions out there. Um, and yeah, they got a second Might in here. Might is Might plus uh, Legion General is a pretty great combo. So I will give it that. Like that can be a great combo that can just steal games, make a big Legion General, and then have a Might in there. Um, yeah, so I want to want to just give this a try. You know, I want to um, you know test out uh, basically those two cards, the Coling Strike and the Legion General, and see how it goes. All right, um, let's play some Yasuo. Let's go to, let's go to the monastery with our Poro. And let's have some fun. Yeah, I really, yeah, I really like my adjustable desk, yeah. Um, I got it from, I got mine from ne Nebraska Furniture Mart which is like a huge uh, furniture retailer down here in Texas. Uh, I don't know the brand, but it's it's a nice it's it's a nice one. I I like it. I got like the floor model so it's half off. It's Aspen Home. Their website according to this thing um, is aspenhome.net. Um, I don't know like exactly what my make and model and that kind of stuff is, but as far as pointing you in that direction, but yeah, it's, it's good. I'm very happy with it. You're welcome. But yeah, I like it quite a bit, you know, like, especially how, you know, I'm streaming every day, you know, sitting down every day. Like some, sometimes you just got to get up and, and stand up for a little while and it's easy enough to do that. Um, let's play the Shadow Assassin first. Not missing out on much damage if they do something. Cool. Kind of figured they were going to be going Catalyst and gaining three life anyway. Yep. That was the best card they could have. That's why I figured that's why they had it. Because we're used to that. Opponents having the best card they can have. I have the best card I can have with the Yasuo. Um... You know, don't have Ruination mana, but we drew the Deny, which was great to draw. So I've been drawn very well. You know, like I can't, I can't complain over here. I've been getting the cards that we want. Oh gosh, we can just Culling Strike that thing? That's ridiculous. Um, I'm going to bounce it first, though. I want them to re, I want them to play it again. Yeah, I would I would be very happy if they spent their turn playing Soul Gorger. That is rough. Three seven. Six mana, three seven versus a Coling Strike. That's just rough. Poor opponent. The Vile Feast was good though. So they, you know, uh, not having lethal now.
And just waiting on a ruination with this deny. <clears throat> Alright, stun these again. That'll be number four for Yasuo. Ledros aggro over there. Dang, if they have another one of those, that'll be sad. What if they just had two of those? That would have been sad. Deny is really good. There's only two denies in here. I don't wish there was three. Because Deny is really good. But there are other matches like this that Deny doesn't do a whole lot in. So I guess I understand it just being a two of. Shen Fiora. Definitely love Will of Ionia against the Barrier deck. And even Reckoner. I like that card too, but it's not Yasuo, so I wonder if I'm supposed to mulligan it. Like, I, wonder, I don't know how aggressively we should be mulliganing for Yasuo. Don't know why everybody else that... Um, everybody else that plays this deck always has turn four Yasuo. Not us, though. Draw back-to-back, -back, nine drops. And a five mana, four, four. It's pretty surprising they had nothing to do there. You like drawing that sentry, that was good. Gets a trigger for the general. They attack with a one two, do I block? Do I do I let them barrier? Okay, they're not attacking with the one two. Let's go, Reckoner. This is a good card. It's a pretty cool card. Alright, so they're just gonna be fighting. So we traded Reckoner and Twin Disciplines for their one drop. Trade those two for their one drop, a repost, a single combat, and a single combat. Probably a good trade. Good ish.
Good enough. On paper here, we would be trading Shen for Arachnoid Sentry. Oh. Oh, okay. Never mind. I was kind of thinking they were going to be taking the Sentry, and then I would have blocked. But no, never mind. Shen has to be in play and then, you know, see the four allies gain barriers. Oh, they had a Shadow Assassin. So that gives me some time to bounce. I should have played the Minotaur Reckoner. It's a big waste of mana. I should have played Reckoner. We're not going to win this if we don't draw Yasuo. That's just, you know, just a fact. Like, if we don't have Yasuo, we're not winning this. Perfect. Perfect time to draw it. I got nine mana. Perfect. Perfect time. That was a great draw. Let's go, Yasuo. Let's go, Yasuo. Sure. And Yasuo levels up halfway between after we kill the Shadow Assassin. Get to do the damage there, damage here. That's five damage. Perfect. Still got a lot done there.
Dang, they passed. Can't risk it. I was really hoping they played, you know, played one more thing and then I got to bounce them all, but obviously can't risk Fiora killing me. Have to reset Fiora. I would love to, to have just like attacked with the house, you know, attacked with these things, but if they just had a barrier, that would have been it. So we know they have two elites in hand to go along with these two because of the Swiftwing Lancers that, that died. So they got. So we know they have two elites and those two cards and two randos that we don't know much about. So just one rando. So they can only have one, you know, like barrier out of all this stuff. Probably supposed to stun the Fiora. My shield is yours. Honor dictates both our actions. A symbol worth fighting for. Think it fast. Cute. Done one thing. We'll go bounce, bounce, bounce. Swiftfoot is brutal. I mean, that, that Yasuo changed this game, though. Like, we were losing this game until we drew that Yasuo, like, that turn, and just killed a whole bunch of stuff. You know, we killed multiple Shens with that Yasuo. This game was going to be over until that. Alright. But we're 2 2 0. GG's. Good start. Take that. Good start. All right, double century reckoner twirler. That seems like a pretty good hand. Um, dang. Karina Control can just go really wide, though. Where, like, basically what that means is that Sentry isn't as valuable. This would be a... Hmm. That hand is pretty perfect against a lot of a lot of decks, but 
it's not perfect against Brood Awakening. Green control just kind of has it all. I know what lurks in the shadow. It's like no matter what I play, they have like the answer for it. Hey, what's up, Time Lord? Yeah, that catastrophe deck was on fire. Man, we were crushing with that meme tier catastrophe deck. That was sweet. I'll play that one again, you know, later on in the week. Um, Cause yeah, that was a lot of fun. Can't believe how well that deck did it. Probably won't won't do that well again, but um, as far as yesterday goes, it went perfect. So not fair. So they're just gonna withering whale and just destroy everything. Like not even spend a card. Oh wait, I have deny. I'm like lamenting the fact that all of our stuff's gonna die to withering whale. Or remembering that I could just deny it. So eight mana. I have one deny. Think you're fast? You're fast. I would have had lethal if I would have denied that, but I definitely assume they have a five mana spell to play. Whether it's Brood Awakening, Grasp the Undying, Withering Whale, any of those. Yep, and that's a much better thing to deny. Well, now that's kind of all I got. Now they're about to have 9 mana. So they just discarded Karina Veraza. So that's... Which seems like a weird card to discard because it'd be such a it's the perfect play next turn. Like it's the only card you want to play next turn, so they gotta have another one. And therefore, if they have another Karina Veraza, I'm just kinda dead. It's the only reason to discard that. Mmm. Almost.
Guess I just go for it. There's a lot of things that could backfire. I honestly kind of want to pass the turn first and see if they would have played something. That was definitely one of the things that would have backfired. Yeah, uh, what's good against Ez Karma? Yeah, I think the aggro decks are good. I like the I like the atrocity, um, the atrocity kind of decks. Sick. I wonder if they would have played that if I would have just passed back. I, I bet they probably would have. Like instead of playing that nine drop, if I would have just passed the turn to them, would they have played that? Ledros, because then that would have been game. Well, the game's over. I play my creature, they attack with Ledros, they kill it. There's nothing I can draw to win. Like the the undying the undying decks like with an undying and atrocity and chronicler of ruin and all that kind of stuff I think those are good against as karma. Glimpse beyond. But then also like like the endure spiders, that kind of deck also with uh, they who endure and atrocity I think that deck's also good against it. As karma. What are we doing, Lucian Jinx? Just get rid of these cards. Give me new ones. This is definitely a Yasuo matchup. There we are. What's up, Yasuo? You're welcome. I love the horn on Mobilize. Just that sound effect. Love that sound effect. Stump Dredger. Join a tournament and just think which two decks I sh should I bring. The region can't overlapping. Give me some advice. Just two decks? I mean, I would play as Karma, and then, um, I guess there's a lot of options. I'd probably probably say that if it's just two decks, that and then the Shadow Isles Demacia deck, you know, like the Undying Combat. Those three decks, I would do those two, and then Frostbite midrange. 
that's Noxus and, and Freljord. Do you like Frostbite mid-range a ton? I guess if it's, if it's just the two, I'd maybe just go with the Endure Spiders. I do think Endure Spiders is really good. Always done well with that tank. Down to 10. Get excited for the last card. Yeah, two get excited. All right, so we're not stunning Jinx right now. <clears throat> but that's okay. We have Yone for next turn. So it does matter how you order these. So look at our, our Yasuo is four out of five. So for, for Yone, we need to do the first one here, because that'll be two damage, and then Yone will be leveled up, and then it will do five damage, then we'll do the second one there. So that does matter how you put those. If we would have done those the other way, we would have dealt two to the Jinx, and then five. It's not just always left to right also, you know, like if Jinx and, and uh, the Senna were flipped, you could target the one on the right first, then the one on the left. All right, three and one. We're doing good. Doing good. The calling strikes have been really nice. Um, yeah, they, like, they've been really useful. Not super sold on Legion General, but it's been just fine. Yeah, so yeah, hopefully y'all learned something there with that that Yasuo. Or with that Yone. Ash Katarina. I kinda like our kinda like this. Um I, Intimidating Roar and Culling Strike, neither of those kill we'll get rid of the Culling Strike, neither of those kill Ash. So I need to find some other stun stuff for Ash. Maybe I should just get rid of the House Spider. I mean House Spider is, you know, it's a spot it's a spider. It's all homebound and everything. Glory Seeker? No. Don't seek any glory. It's just such a waste. The twin disciplines. All right, we do have the backup Yasuo, so even if this dies, we have the backup. Second Yasuo is a great draw. For sure, that was a great draw. All the world on one arrow. Yeah, was there a news thing that came out today? Let's check that. No. They have Ash. I don't like that. It's very bad for me.
No! Oh my gosh. Wow. Absolutely wrecked. I should have just gone with just the one and, and not played the second one. Wow, absolutely wrecked. If I don't play the second one, then I could play the other Yasuo. Wow, calling strike. I, w I was thinking, I was like, they, they probably don't have any instant speed removal. We're good. Wow, absolutely wrecked. Because now I don't have any Yasuo. You know, I would have had three. Man, if I... I shouldn't have played the second one. The second one was too greedy on the 3-2. Shouldn't have done that. You know, I was thinking it was going to be removal. You know, like, kill both of those because the Yasuo trigger. Like, kill both of those and just leave them with the Ash. Wow. That... I mean, that's, that's how you win games right there. The calling strike was brutal. Show them the might of Noxus. As the arrow flies. Yeah, I mean that's that's game. Wait, did they not attack with everything? So I could have stayed at one if I would have chump blocked? No, they... Did they not attack with everything? I don't know, whatever. We were we were dead. Um, Yeah, that was brutal. But yeah, overall, this is definitely a good deck. Um, that's not a bad matchup for us, that, that last one that we just lost. That's not necessarily a bad matchup, but... Those two drops are really good. And they had, you know, they had a lot of those two drops. Um, you know, obviously we need Yasuo to stick. Um, if I just, you know, if I don't play the second Steel Tempest, that game's a whole lot different. I just let that happen. You know, the same thing happens, but then I would have played a second Yasuo, and then my Reckoner would have just killed something at the beginning of combat, and that was going to be a whole lot of different game. But maybe not. They would have still had the Culling Strike, and so they would have still just attacked and... Um, you know, Frostbit and my Minotaur Reckoner and Calling Strike Dip. So maybe not that different. Anyway, um, I have to say that I was, uh, with those games, I was really, really impressed by Calling Strike. It looked good. It looked good whenever I was playing it. It looked good with um, Ash when my opponent played it against me, and I was sad. So yeah, Calling Strike looked good. Legion General, never really drew it. You know, we drew it, like, a couple of times, and it was fine. Even as, like, a 5-mana five 5-5, five five, like, that's a good body, especially Fearsome. Like, that's that's a reasonable body. I didn't really miss not having more Intimidating Roars. We had this one Intimidating Roar quite a bit. So it's, you know, like we did a good job of drawing the one Intimidating Roar. But yeah, honestly, like this is just a this is a good deck and it's competitive now. Like you know, Yasuo hasn't been competitive, uh, like too competitive for a while. But this version really is competitive now. Like Yasuo being a four four is such a big deal. It is, it is much better than what it was before the last patch when it was just a four three. That really is a big deal. So yeah, you want to get some Yasuo on? It's it's pretty good. All right, but those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there and let me know what you think of uh, Legion General. You know, like, feel free to uh, let me know. I know the last time we played Yasuo, some people, have, like, there's a person in the, the YouTube comments saying that they, they've been doing, uh, they've been having success with Guile. And I, I do like, I, I do like Guile. I think Guile could be pretty good, um, especially against the aggro decks, just one mana there. It's probably an underrated card, but... <clears throat> anyway, there we go. That's Yasuo Midrange. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.